just a few minutes, Scott. If you'd like to share this live from your wall, if you've got people out there in your circle of influence who you would like to hear this information, these stories, and um, you know, and what ER Shred is doing for people. Your wall, if you've got people out there, then please go right ahead and uh, share from my wall. It's set to public, and you can just go ahead and share it. I'm going to click record. There's three people waiting to get in, just FYI. Cord. Cord here. All right, we're here. Hey, everyone. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, welcome to the ER Shred Come Alive call. We're so grateful to be with you here. Um, my wife might pop in. Uh, she's doing homework with the kids right now. How's my internet connection, Jesse? Thumb up? Good. I hope everybody was able to maintain some level of control. Let me mute a few people here. Hold on. Why do I not have the mute all option? That's weird. There it is. So I, Crystal and I were able to maintain control. We were able to set a goal of, you know, we're eating this and, you know, this, that, or the other. And we were able to stick to it. And it felt so good to be able to set that goal and then actually be able to, to execute it. It felt really really empowering, really good. So I hope a lot of you had the same feeling. However, if you did not, don't beat yourself up. You're a human and that's okay to be human. And we're learning about ourselves. Um, if you were on the call last night, you would have heard Jesse talking. He was interviewing a lot of different people. It's an incredible call. You can go watch it on YouTube. Um, but it talked a lot about this awareness. It talked a lot about this observation. There's something special that happens in ER Shred. And we're still defining it, but there's something special that happens on ER Shred. And you'll find that this awareness around food will begin to permeate into other areas of your life. It will, you'll start to observe and become more aware of your emotional health, your mental health, your relationships, your everyday practices, everything. It's a trip. <laughs> and I always referred to it as depth. And in time, we will define that depth. But it's a cool, very welcome side benefit. Um, and I hope that you're open to that. I hope you'll start to be more conscious of, you, you will, you'll start to be aware of, why do I do that? Why do I eat that? Why do I respond in that way? It's going to trip you out a little, but it's good trippy, really good trippy. Um, today, I had a tough day. Just want to share on a personal level. Uh, got a phone call from my son, went and picked up my son. He's seven. Son said he had a stomach ache. Uh, you know, we go pick him up. And uh, Owen, as soon as he gets in the car, he bursts into tears because he said that people at school, the boys, and he had some names and they was teasing him because of his hair. Really, really touchy thing for me. Um, Owen was born with microtia. Owen has a tiny little ear. One of his ears is very small. He also has a closed off ear canal, so he can only hear out of one ear. Therefore, he can't locate sounds where they're coming from. Um, we grew out his hair long so that he wouldn't get teased at school about his little tiny ear. In fact, the Finding Nemo, Nemo was given a little fin, um, and that was actually a dedication to people who are born with microtia, um, just like Owen was. I grew out my hair for just so that my son would feel better about having longer hair. Um, and that's the only reason I ever grew out my hair. I'd had short hair my whole life, but it's so hard to be a dad, and it's so hard to be a parent, and it's so goddamn hard when you know these things are gonna happen. Um, I just wanna say, like, I'm so grateful for this community. This call is really important because people are gonna come on this call and these are people who have been bullied before. These are people who have been shamed and belittled. 
These are people that have been made to feel like they don't belong. Um, our tribe is pretty special. And I hope that every ER shredder will one day come on this call as part of their journey, almost like, like it's a rite of passage because I know you've been beat up and I know you've been bullied and I know you've been shamed and I know you felt it. And I know you felt afraid and this community is not gonna be like the world has been for you. And I talk to people all the time and they're like, I really wanna come on and share, but I can't. And another one today, I just, I can't. And it kills me because the reason they can't is because of their life experience because of stuff like that will happen to my son today. And so we take him home and we love on him. And we talk to his teacher and we addressed it. Uh, and we assured him that, you know, why this kind of things happen, but not everybody has that. Not everybody has that support system. So we ER shredders have to be that support system for all of us together collectively. It's a safe space and you should know that Coming on here is part of your journey, believe it or not. It's part of your journey to come on here because the only way that you win is not to shrink. And I learned that the hard way, you, you shrink and you don't grow. And the only way to grow is to stop shrinking and show up. And that might look different for everybody. There's just no, no one size fits all. Mm. Well, thank you for letting me get that out. Wow. So we're going to have some great testimonials tonight. And I'm so grateful for those brave souls who show up every week and share their testimonials. And guys, let's push back. Let's push back this holiday season, huh? Let's push back. Don't give in to all the bull crap. Let's push back. Let's stay strong. Let's stay well. When you're well, you're unstoppable. Uh, let's push back. Let's keep pushing back. That's, that would be my, my charge, if you will. First up tonight, um, and sorry, it's such a somber beginning to this call. It's not my intent, <laughs> but my intent is truly to say we have something special and we need to continue to nurture that and make this that safe space. Woo, um, Rod, I think it's only appropriate that we start with you because uh, you, can, you can be my, uh, you know, the guy that comes in and warms this sucker up for me. <laughs> you out there, Rod Brooks? I saw him. Maybe he hopped off or something. Maybe we lost Rod. I'm here. He's I'm there. Looking He's for... trying to... There he is. Oh, there you are. Look at those handsome blue eyes. Hey, Rod. I was looking, looking for the mute button. I forgot I had that on there. Sorry about that. It's <laughs> so been a Rod, while. So excited to have you on. Rod, can you quickly tell people where are you from and what is it that you find passion in doing? Yeah, sure. Um, that's a story. But anyway, I live in Washington State, and I lived most of my life on the gray side over in the Seattle area. Moved uh, three years after retirement to a place called Lake Chelan in the high desert, where we get 300 days of sunshine and uh, just have a beautiful, beautiful uh, surroundings around us in a Thank small you. town, a very small town. So I love that. Um, you're, you're and it's a nice change. And it's, it's something that I'm grateful for every day. I look outside the window, and I just go, wow, you know, this is, it's nice to have these moments where you can just pick up on that. Um, there's a lot of things I'm, I'm passionate about, but one of them that is um, why I introduced myself as Grandpa Rod to a lot of people is that um, not too awful many years ago, but I've been with Isogenics for seven and a half, eight years. And it was just before that, that my oldest son, who at the time had three children, my three grandkids and, um, he came to me and he said, he looked at me, he saw me and he said, Hey, you know, dad, long story short, he said, you know, dad, um, I've given you three grandkids and you've, you didn't know your grandpa. I didn't know your dad, my grandpa. 
and they're going to want to know you, but they don't have a vote. Uh, if you don't do something to get in better shape and be healthy, they won't know you either. And uh, from that moment forward, I thought of myself, I personified what I called the grandpa project. And the grandpa project was really just me trying to get healthy so I could run and jump and play and be around for my grandkids. Well, long story short, again, that, that manifests itself in many ways. People started following me and they started liking what I was up to and what I was talking about. And people came on board and I created a, uh, not really a nonprofit, but a, a, a thing, I'll call it, like a little movement called the Grandpa Project. And um, it's uh, all based on the belief that every child deserves to know and learn from and be loved by a grandpa. And so it's uh, trying to inspire men to uh, be healthy and be present and get off of the career ladders as much as they can and get on playground ladders as much as they can. So, you know, that's, that's what floats my boat. I've now got nine grandkids from 18 down to three. And the Grandpa Project is alive and well within me and it's manifesting itself out in the community. Hey, man. Um, wow. What a commendable thing. That's what I'm talking about. Like we could change the world if ER Shred was, you know, the notion of people finding their passion, being able to pursue their passion, being well enough to do it, to actually yeah. take, take it and do it. So what has transpired for you? I mean, I remember, I know your original result. All we want to know is like an update on Grandpa Rod. What have you been up All right. to? All well, that good stuff. I, and I and I really want to say too. Uh, first and foremost, I appreciate your remarks. I learned a lot just about you and your son and your family just in that ninety seconds. I also um, it, it also triggered some thoughts within me that maybe I can talk to a bit. But but to answer your question, um, it was December last year when uh, two people that I really value their opinions. Uh, one an isogenics. Uh, Long timer, you will know, you would know who she is. I won't drop names, but you know who she is and very successful. And then another fellow that you know, a mutual fan, friend who I was doing life coaching with, Bill Mayer. Right. Both of them, two of them within a week, asked me if I had heard of ER Shred. And uh, I heard it. It had, didn't match anything that I had ever been told in terms of uh, nutritional process, the, you know, the whole thing that pyramid upside down and all that. And I said, well, you know what, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a look. And I, I took a look and I thought, you know, kind of like so many people said, well, I'm going to do this so people get off my case about it. I'll, it probably won't work for me. Um, and gosh, I, I started in uh, January is my first shred and I did the 11 days and I was like, holy crap. After a week, I was, I was in, in just amazing changes going on down 10, 12 pounds. And in the first 11 days, I, I keep this chart that has everything on it mapped out and um, I couldn't get off the wheel. I mean, I, I mean, it was, I, I wanted to do them every other week. I mean, I was, I was going and, and I did, I did for about the first five months. I think I probably got seven shreds in something like that. I started living in between shreds in the healthy way that you guys have recommended and has become a part of my decision-making about what to put in my body. Sure. And at my very best, as I was going into summer, um, I was down 62 pounds, 45 inches, feeling really good, had set a goal to uh, join the 100 pound club. And, um, and gosh, here I am. It's a year later. This is my one year anniversary. I start my 12th shred tomorrow. I have to do it a little early because of our holiday travels and things like that. But um, that's where I went. And I've also learned to, to let that happen that don't let the calendar run your plan, plan your calendar and, and, and do that. Um, I had a rough patch to be totally honest. I had a rough patch during the summer because I let the fun and the, and the joy of, of family and also some life events that aren't so pleasant where we had hospitalizations and I let the emotional eating filter back into my life a little bit. And, and, and um, what, I had a rough patch. Hold on. Uh -oh. a rough patch. Mute. I let the fun and the, if, uh, and the uh, who's uh, family. I'm, I'm hearing my whole self over again. again. I'm going to mute that iPad mini. Okay, go ahead now. Okay, I was hearing myself a second time, but um, I think I was saying I hit a little rough patch 
Right. And it was mostly called summer, but it was also called some life events. And um, what I came to realize is I was, I was, I was feeling it. I was really feeling in my body, not just in my mind about being disappointed in myself. I was feeling in my body discomfort. And, and I was saying, wow, I'd only been doing this for six or seven months. And I now know what foods make me feel bloated. I know now how I'm feeling. Um, and, and I came out of the summer um, really kind of, it almost was a, a master's class in what not to eat. Um, if you want to feel as good as I did in the spring and winter. And, um, and so I got back on board. Uh, one of the things I've learned, uh, I can, can say with great confidence, is, is, is this is way more than a tool. It is not a, it, it's, not, it's not just a tool to go and use to lose six pounds or get, you know, whatever, but uh, as, as a lifestyle, but it is um, tool worthy. In other words, I now know that when I have a situation, I can just come back and do an 11 day shred and turn my life right back to the way I want it to be. And, um, and that's what I've been doing. Um, you know, I, I, what I wanted to share with you, Sean, I know there's others that want to speak tonight, so I'll be as brief as I can, but I, you're, what you triggered in your comments for me was um, a, a reminder that, you know, I, I, I unpacked a lot of stuff over the last couple of years, two or three years. And, I worked with uh, Mr. Bill, our, our friend, a life coach for 18 months, and he helped me unpack some of them. What, we, what I really discovered is one of my highest values is vibrant health and living vibrantly healthy. And, and of course, with the Grandpa Project, to have family connection and spiritual connection. And, um, and during this 18 months, what I unpacked was that when I was a child, I was always hearing that I, I don't know if I was told but I was hearing that you're not good enough that you're you're different or you're not good enough and what I what what I did in lighter life as I came out of college and into career was I started living an I'll show you life and and it was it wasn't an I'll show you issue it was like okay if I'm not good enough I'll show you and what that did is it kept me on those career ladders and it kept me pushing for more and taking myself away from family and doing all the things that I now recognize that um, were just me trying to prove myself to somebody, but mostly to me. And, and with, with ER Shred, I'm now able a year into it. And Mr. Bill said the same, he said, you know, I can cure a lot of, you, we can cure a lot of your, um, of your issues your situation if you just if you just master vibrant health and and you can master vibrant health if you just stay committed to er shred and those are his words and i'm boy i was taking that in and um and it, we went so far as to say you know what are you noticing in this in this time period where you've been absent and I think I wrote about this one day where I, I, I said, you know, I, I learned from hearing about alcoholism and other addictions that people will say out loud, hey, I need a meeting or I got to get to a meeting. And I was saying, wow, that's one of the things I noticed during the summer. I wasn't as present with our ER Shred community. I need a meeting. Um, so, Sean, there's just been a lot going on in my world. I, I'm just so grateful to have had this year. And um, just want to say thank you to you and Jesse and the board and all those people. I'm just so grateful as we go into this holiday season that that even though I had these little ups and downs, these little roller coasters, um, I look at my chart and I, I'm down 55 pounds. I'm down 38 inches. I'm in sizes that are three or four less than I was wearing. And people notice and my grandkids want to play and and, you know, just life's life's better a year later. Why don't I live in Florida? Congratulations, Rob. Hold on, I'm going to mute Robbie here. Robbie, I think you keep on muting yourself. Hold on there, Robbie, mute. Well, Rod, just wanted to thank you. And I, I hope that people, what they'll take away from, okay, Robbie, he's unmuting again. Hold on, we're going to have to. Remove Robbie. Oh, hi. Yep. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, there we go. Is it working? Yeah. 
Robbie. Hi. Hi, Robbie. Hi. Who invited you on? Didn't you invite me? <laughs> Weirdest thing. Oh, isn't this a Zoom call for the Come Alive? It is, but you, <laughs> it is. Robbie, what's your last name? Visser. Okay, well, can I'm gonna I'm gonna interview you next. I'm I'm having a little technical difficulties over here. Can you hold tight one sec? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for some reason, can you make sure not to unmute because it's it keeps on jumping in is what it's doing. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. That was confusing. Um, Rod, thank you so much. Thank you for showing your vulnerable human side. I think it's really important to people for them to, to begin to understand that, you know, <laughs> this is not the merry-go-round. Like this is a human no. experience. That, you know, Mimi talks about that. Mimi said, this is a human experience and therefore it's going to be a roller coaster. <laughs> um, but the cool thing is if you picture the tracks, Jesse always talks about the tracks, you know, just, you know, just get back on the tracks. It's okay. <laughs> That's um, right. And, 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 and I used to, I used to get so down on myself when, when scales went the wrong way or inches went the wrong way for a prolonged period of time, or even for a short time. And, and now it's like, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to cheat on things. I'm going to treat myself occasionally. I'm going to have that life where if I want to have an ice cream cone with a grandchild, I'm not going to say, well, I know that's not good for me. So you can have one or maybe not. Let's do something. I'm going to have it. I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to get right back on and live my life fully and healthy. And, um, you know, so there, I think one of the things that, that a lot of us, or at least I'll speak for myself, we, we try to be curious and know what the rule book paint by number approach is and stay within the lines. And that's not the human experience. That's not, that's not how it works. I mean, it's good to know where the lines are. It's good to try to stay within them as best you can. But every once in a while, you're going to veer left or right and, and, and see something new and, and do that. And frankly, if I hadn't veered left or right, I wouldn't have seen ER shred. So, Rod, the cool thing, um, last thing I'll say about your journey, saw a cool visual today. You might have seen it, uh, and it was in one of the groups, I think, but it basically showed an individual and it had these blocks and it was failure, 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 mm. failure, failure. And then they had a stack of blocks, you know, sky high, all the failures weighing them down. And then it showed another visual of an individual who it said failure, 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 failure. And it was steps moving upward. And, you know, it's all in how you view the human experience. There is no failure per se, you know, do what you want to do, do what you feel and learn from it. And that's really, that's all we've got. Yeah. I, I uh, have been taught a number of times. I heard it again today on a different podcast where it was just, Hey, if you're going to, if you're going to try something and it might not work, fail forward fast, fail forward. Yeah. Don't fail backward and, yes. uh, and keep moving forward. So, Hey, thanks for the opportunity. And thanks <laughs> Thank for the invitation. You, Rod. Thank you, Rod. And you guys, if you want to know more about Rod's journey, please go in the group type Rod Brooks. You can follow his, whole journey all the way back. He's hosted calls for us. He's amazing. He was on uh, Jesse's Shred Your Body call. The guy is totally legit. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you, guys. We're grateful for you. Robbie Visser, are you out there? I'm going to try to ask you to unmute now. Unmute better? <laughs> Robbie, I got Hi. confused. I didn't know it was going to be Robbie because on, on Facebook, it's just Rob. So I got so confused. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Well, good, good. We're glad to have you here. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, Picture Butte, Alberta, Canada. Very cool. I like the mustache. That's awesome. Rocking mustache. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, Robbie, um, who introduced you to the ER Shred? Chanel Castile. Cool, cool. And give us an idea. What's your passion? What do you love? I love cattle. I love my job. I feed cattle for a living and I do some trucking on the side. 
killer. I love that yeah. too. Because obviously, you know, cattle. I dig it. I dig it, Rob. Yeah. Um, so, um, just a little bit about myself. I uh, I was in church one day, and Chanel Castillo was uh, drinking a shake. So I uh, I thought, oh, I'd ask her, what's that shake? And she said, oh, it's uh, it's with isogenics. Do you want to try? And I said, sure. So uh, she signed me up, and it's just been like, wow, like I. Uh, I uh, got in with the program and I started doing the shakes and the protein meals and stuff. And I yes. followed it to a T. I don't cheat at all. I just yes. follow the protocol and I, I, I've i had results at that first time because I, I have diabetes. So at first uh -huh. it was like um, with, the, with the lifestyle change, my numbers were really, real bad. So yeah. then I talked to my doctor and my doctor said, well, will lower your insulin. So now I don't even take insulin before meals anymore like I used to before the ER shred. And now yeah, so I you were in type, type two, right? Yeah, I'm type two diabetic. Type and two, I so even bear... go ahead. I don't take any insulin hardly at all, except for before bed now. Congratulations. You know, I, I just want to make a note that, you know, that is a testament to your body yeah, uh, your body recognizing that, you know, these foods over here do not serve me. Nope. And these foods over here really do serve me, including yeah. the shakes, which is food. And yeah. and so it's lifestyle. We all know type two di diabetes is lifestyle. We never, you know, claim to cure, treat, prevent any illness. Um, yeah. you know, I posted a disclaimer. I'll post one in the chat here as well. But give me an idea, my friend, like how was life before and how is life now? How long ago did you start? I started April 19 of uh, this year. Cool. And I weighed in at 310 pounds. And now I'm December 1st, uh, like nine months later. And I'm uh, two, last time I weighed myself, I was 238. So I lost <laughs> 72 pounds, 72 pounds on this lifestyle. Like a regular day for me, like this morning, I have my shake for breakfast at five o'clock this morning and, and a shake at lunch. I didn't eat all day. I try not to snack. Like if I snack, if I have snacks with me, I overdo it. Yeah. So I try not to snack at all. And then tonight I had, uh, I'm doing the video call in my vehicle because I got other plans afterwards. So I, I'm just sitting in the parking lot here on the video call and I, I had a, uh, a lettuce wrap burger with cheese and bacon and some salt and pepper chicken wings. And that was my supper and, and I feel satisfied. And, and that's, uh, that's just simple. And it's a simple life, man. It's, it's simple. And, you know, like before the ER shred, it was lots of overeating and lots of bad foods, lots of pop and stuff. Now I am very strict on, honestly, I'm very strict. I follow, follow the protocol. I don't want to cut any corners. I haven't had any sugar or pop or anything that's not in the protocol. Where, for wait, the Robbie, where is the power coming from, man? That's everyone wants to know. How did you do that? Where's that power coming from? The power is coming from just following it to a T. That's it's simple. <laughs> you follow the rules and so you get results. I love it, man. You're speaking and a gallon mind. of water a day and uh -huh. a gallon of water a day and lots of walking. Yeah. Yeah. What other things did you stop doing? What what other things did you give up? I gave up everything bad, like everything, all my pop, like all everything, everything bad that for my life I gave up, I threw away. I don't but crave it just, at all. I, you gotta realize, like that to the average American <laughs> Canadian, that would make you super human. But guess what? I want to tell you something, man. You're a hero. And the reason Thank you, you yes, and the reason you're a hero, Robbie, not only because you're on this call trying to inspire others, thank you so much for that. But the you're other welcome. reason you're a hero is what you've done, Robbie. What you've done to 99.9% .9 of the people is impossible. They can't even consider it. It's not possible. They think that something must have some magic spell must have been cast something strange happened for you to be able to do this and yet you're on this call and you did it that makes I have, you, that makes I have you help, though 
I have help though. I am what's a that, green what's man. Help? What I help? have I'm I'm a I I live through the spirit. I'm a God fearing man. I'm a Christian man and uh cool. and the Holy Spirit helps me through everything. That's very cool. What do you think about the community as well? Has that been helpful? I think it's awesome. I'll be honest with you, I'll be frank with you. I I try my best to follow the page, but to honestly, to honest to God, I am just kind of just doing it on my own. <laughs> I haven't been watching any of the videos. I know I should. Jesse says you got to stay connected. You know, you got to stay in on it. But I, I haven't been doing any of that work. I've just been doing it all myself. Amazing. I've been just... I've been just following the protocol and it's simple, you know, like all those sweets and stuff like this Christmas uh -huh. will be my first Christmas without chocolate and <laughs> all the pop and all that stuff. And I don't even crave it. it, it I, but I, did, I, Robbie, here's what's crazy. It makes it so much more meaningful when the whole focus isn't always food. It's cool, like all of a sudden you'll notice lots of other things you never noticed because you was always consumed with when are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat? Who are we gonna eat with? When you know, eat, 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 food, 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 food. And you, you yep. remove you remove all of that and you yep. start to notice some really beautiful things. Uh, <laughs> I bought it. Okay, get this. I bought a new I had to buy a new belt because my belt was too big. So I had to buy yeah. a new belt. I bought a new belt about a month ago. Yeah. And now I need to buy another new belt because my inches are falling off. <laughs> my, I, my inches are like gone. Like they're just slowly melting away. <laughs> a good problem to have. What other, yeah. what other non-scale victories have you noticed? Like, have you oh, noticed? my energy. I can run and not be faint. Like I can, I can run and, and I have my full breath. Like I have no, I don't run myself out of breath anymore. Really? Like, is your job is your job pretty labor intensive? Uh, I sit in a feed truck. I feed cattle for a living in the winter, uh -huh. and then in the summertime, I run a silage truck and a and a water a dust control vac truck. It so sounds I do a lot of it trucking. Sounds, it sounds like a labor intensive job. Have you noticed your your endurance levels, your ability to focus? Have you noticed these kinds of things? Oh yeah, and my and my sleep is better and. My sleep is better and I can withheld lots of energy. Like I don't get tired very often. I just kind of go, go, go. Like I, I get done a 10 or 12 hour day and then I depends on what time of the year. And then I go for a 45 minute walk every night. And then lately I've been doing this 75, 75 day workout. I'm on like day 27 now. And I do 45 minutes a day walking and then I do 45 minutes of uh, weights inside my apartment and then a gallon of water a day. And it's just, the list goes on. It's just, it's like <laughs> an unlimited of supply of energy. And, and here it is, you know, it's, it's in the evening and you've still got a lot. Of, I, I, I'm envisioning you with like an ER shred come alive shirt. Maybe you'll win the raffle. We do a raffle, we give away gear, but I'm, I'm like envisioning you like ripping it open and just like coming alive. Like, ah! <laughs> I do. I do actually have an ER shred hat and an ER shred uh, oh, shirt man. too. You should I did. I, it. Why didn't you wear it? I, cause I just got done work and wow. I, uh, and I'm kind of on the road right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, uh, real quick. What about relationship health, emotional health? Have you noticed anything around any of that? my confidence and all that stuff like for people like i've always been a people person but my confidence for life and stuff and everything has just gone uphill like i it's just been climbing and climbing and and i i can't it seems like it never ends you know like my uh, energy and all that stuff it's it's just so much better on this lifestyle you know like so who's to say we need all that junk in our lives we we don't need those those are wants we don't need it they're wants and without it we we get results man oh man and, and you and yet you feel satisfied you feel satiated i do you don't feel deprived no nope. if, if everybody could have that switch you know you're not deprived you're not deprived you're satiated you're fulfilled you're you're satisfied it'll switch when the yep. switch happens you've taken back control of your life yes i have taken control of my health too so happy for you man thank you for coming on means the world to us
You're welcome. I hope to see you in the group. But if I don't, it's because you're busy and I just have mad respect for you, man. I hope you'll come back on sometime in the future. Anytime you want me to come back on and share some more, you just let me know and I'm available as much as I can. You're such a stud, man. Thank you. Sure, I, Thanks, I just man. want Robbie, Robbie, Jesse. Robbie. <laughs> Robbie. Oh, hi, Jesse. Hold on. A Hold you got to meet Jesse. <laughs> oh, hi, Jesse. Like I'm like my pants are itching right now because I I couldn't even I couldn't I couldn't wait for this opportunity to hit this button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Holy shit. I, Holy shit! So you, I just need people to understand this. It's yeah. so simple that this man doesn't even show up and all he does is follow the simple. Like he doesn't even complicate it. He doesn't overthink it. He doesn't get in his own way. Um, nope. you clearly have heard enough because you knew that I told you to show up. And all I can ask you is don't just show up on this call, show up in that group because we need so much more of you. We like, need him. You just oh, inspire okay. the living shit out of me. People say that I inspire them. You, here's another non-scale victory. You just literally sent tingling chills through my body. That is not easy to do because I, I, I jump off mountains and run down them for fun. Um, yeah. But I'm telling you, man, your power like come and share that if you will i'm begging yes, you. absolutely i need like ten thousand more of you to spread <laughs> this to the world like we're going to you my yeah. friend are something yeah. special yeah. Uh, you're a special you are special well, you you <sighs> you get a protocol and you what's the point of having a protocol if you don't follow it you know this is what i, I need you to come preach that I'll support you. I'll 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 stand with pom poms behind you and cheer for you. Whatever you need me to do, foghorn whistles, cowbells, I don't care. <laughs> right on. Just show up, my God! You show up and Sorry, I'll, yeah. I'll root you on. You That's got it. Awesome. You nailed it. You nailed it, dude. If people could just understand your mindset and your thinking and your philosophy, yeah, the whole world would come alive. Like I don't think people understand this. Like. God, where have you been? My goodness. Oh, you, know, <laughs> you know what? All it took was like I'm in Canada, Jesse. I'm in Canada. Come on. I'm coming to Canada. All, all it took on was the, on the cattle farm in Canada. That's where hey. it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what? It just started with just seeing Chanel with a shake. Yeah. And I took that on and I ordered the stuff and I did it. That's awesome. And I'm so Man. such a proud guy and to be part of your group. And from day one, me and Chanel and Chanel's mom, Charlene, and Char Charlene's husband, Rob, uh mm. they they are in a group page with me on uh on uh um That's facebook cool. messenger so we have our own shredder tribe cool so we commute we've been communicating it's, from it's, day it's one intimate. and keeping each other keeping each other accountable you know That's so cool yeah we share in a group all together and then uh tammy castillo too tammy yeah. castillo the four of us we uh we've been communicating the whole every day through the whole journey keeping each other mm. on point and everything and and it's just been just wonderful. Yeah. Dude, well, you're we are, I want to tell you. Oh, sorry, Sean. I want to tell say, you dude, that his, we are his honored. smile tells it all. Yeah, dude. We are honored to have you as part of our community. Never mind you being a part of this. Like for me and Sean, like it was, it's never like it was never me and Sean. Like that that shit doesn't exist in our world. Like we are so honored to have you as a part of this. And I, I'm going to beg you again to please, as much as you possibly can, I, I respect your busyness. Sure. Um, just, just come in and infect some people. Like we, I need more of you. Like do it for me as a selfish reason. And I know you're going to help I, thousands of others, but I need more of you. Like I need your, I need your inspiration. We need to help more people. This is awesome. I, 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 I yeah. actually, uh, I've been wanting to meet you guys for a long time, but I just get so busy, you know? Here we go. Yeah, sure. That's all. I sure. feel honored to actually finally get to meet you guys. You know, you guys are like the backbone of the company, you know, like, and I get to wow, like I get to share with you guys, you know, like that's an honor for me. 
to get to uh-huh. get to share this stuff with you guys and to inspire people you know hey awesome. you know what if you, if you if you are looking for fulfillment we we got it right here because helping people with with their health giving them back yeah. their lives there's no more rewarding work than that that i'm aware mm. of this is the best program ever you know like you you sure did you sure did something good there sean when you invented this er shred like wow like i'm in a loss of words i don't even know what to say you know like and it's so simple like you you get a protocol you follow it no sugars no sauces i use a himalayan salt and pepper that and uh, when i'm not on the shred i'll use a little bit of montreal steak spice but no sugars just water Stick to the protocol and you get results. Respect. It's simple. All right, Robbie, we got to move on. But Robbie, thank you so much, man. Thank You're you. You're very welcome. All right, Robbie, I'm going to mute you. Um, Jesse, the thing that goes through my mind is um, <laughs> that dude's awesome. The thing that goes through my mind is how many more Robbies are there out there? That's what I'm talking about. Like, I hope in the future that if you guys could understand that this is part of your rite of passage is to share it forward. What's that saying? They always say like, it's not a gift until you, you give it away. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, like you have to give it away, not to make money. No, that's not the motivation. The motivation is because there's a lot of Robbie's go back to Robbie in April who's not so happy and who's not smiling so big and who's not so enthusiastic and he's not enjoying life as much. And there's a lot of those out there that they're just looking around and they don't know what's what because this world is a mess and it's confusing. We got to get those Robbies out there. There's a lot of them out there. Jesse, I think that that's a good cause. Millions of Robbies. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Okay, you guys. So thank you so much, Robbie. Forgive me for not knowing that that was Robert. I'm going, who who is this guy, Robbie? I I, I just, I had no idea. So now it all made sense. Robert Visser, you the man. You the man. We love you. You're a hero. How about Chris? Chris, I'm going to try to say this because I'm assuming that this, this, uh, well, it's Chris Albright. Does that work? I've already fed you. You're okay. Chris, if you're out there, can you unmute? I, I think that might be, let's see. Okay. There you are. Hi, Chris. Hi, Sean. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're, we're doing it. What did you think of so far, these guys? I, I I think they're amazing. Tough acts to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Tough acts to follow. I know. So, Chris, where do you live? Florida. Florida. And who shared ER Shred with you? No one. I found it myself. <laughs> Good for I, you. I, 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 I was on Isogenics since 2017, and uh-huh. I had uh, lost 45 pounds. I kept it off. And um, then I, about four years later, I gained about nine pounds and I thought, oh, hell no, I got to do something. And I, I just was looking on Facebook through the Isogenics pages and I found ER Shred. I just found it and I thought, oh, I, I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if this works. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Something. Stroke of faith. Hey, um, what, what are you passionate about? Just so we can get to know you better. Well, you know, right, right now I, Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about me. I, I was hesitant to say that because it sounds so selfish, but I was listening to grandpa Rob, which I probably shouldn't call him grandpa because I could be his (laughs) anyways. Um, I, I, uh, you, you you really have to be passionate about yourself or you can't give like you're doing, like Jesse's doing, like he's doing. So I I thought I have, I've always thought to myself, when I retire, my focus is gonna be me. And that way I can 
it sounds selfish, but it's probably the most unselfish thing you can do is to take care of yourself so you can take care of your family and be there and be healthy. So basically, yeah, that, that's, that's my passion. And that's why I thought I have to do something. I'm not gaining this weight back. And I, I want to keep myself healthy. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. That, that was beautiful. That's all I'm going to say is that that was very beautiful. And, and uh, thank you for sharing that. And no, there's nothing wrong with you saying that your passion is, is you right now. Good for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so what unfolds when you, when you hear about this ER shred? When did you first do it? Um, what was that result like? All of that. Well, I, I, I started in March. And my, my story is, is a little different. Um, first of all, I, I, I think we kind of found each other because I have toxic scale syndrome. Mm. And one of my friends I met on ER Shred because I asked so many questions, um, she recommended that I, I read this file. The file, and, and that's, that's read it so many times. A, a file that's, um, Chris, that's a file that's in the group called um, Women Trust the Process. And it, it, it talks about toxic scale syndrome, which, you know, it's, it's not a literal syndrome. However, um, yeah, I mean, I haven't weighed since January. I haven't weighed in almost a full year. And I, I as a man, it's been a gift I've given myself. But please continue. Well, my, mine's horrible. I, I weigh myself. I, now I, I, I am down to like, I, I weigh every morning with my clothes off after I go to the bathroom and everything else. <laughs> but I, I weigh every morning. But I you got a guest here, Chris. This is Crystal, my wife. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. <laughs> Don't skip a beat. She, you're, you're talking about, you know, you, you, now you weigh every morning, right? Yeah, now I weigh every morning. But um, before I read this and, and started ER Shred, I was weighing two and three times a day, sometimes on two different scales. And mm -hmm. not just that. I mean, the worst part is I have this little chart, it's not so little, mm -hmm. that the last Monday of every single month, I weigh myself since 1980. It's, is, it's, is become, that, that, it, it's just, it's become part of you. It's become habitual. Yeah. And, and it's like when I see a friend or someone comes to visit me, I can look at my, my little chart and say, oh, this is the last time I saw them and this is what I weighed. Wow. <laughs> so I know, I know exactly <laughs> what I weighed then. And, but it, it has gotten better because I, I have read the, this file many, many times. And I have to tell you the first time I read it, when I came to this part, I, I keep it with me and I have all kinds of notes on it. But when I, I came to this part, Sean, um, it says, first of all, we need to address the relation between pounds and inches. Women usually lose way more pound, inches than pounds. And I made this little note. This was the first note I made I said, how do you know you're a man and your wife is thin? <laughs> I like you. Yeah. No. I like you. And, and, and you know what? Before I started ER I shred. I thought, I mean, I you know what? Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? The the career that I've the career path that chose me, if you will, was was just that. I've coached thousands of women uh, around weight loss. And that boy, that scale plays a number on women. And of course, I saw it in my own house with my mom. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, what's what's unfolded since? Do you do you recognize that the relationship with the scale? How do you view that now? Well, I honestly have only started viewing it since I started feeling the difference in my body. When I started ER Shred, I, I was so pissed at everyone because I wanted you guys to tell me, tell me what I was gonna feel, tell me. I didn't realize that um, until I experienced it myself that the, this 
is intangible. Yeah. You, you can't, nobody can tell you. Yeah. You have to experience, you have to feel it. Everyone kept saying, trust the process, trust the process. Trust. And once you experience it, the, the, the difference that you, the, you'll discover the experience in the process. Yes. I guess that's all I can say. Yes. It's difficult to explain. It's difficult to understand because it's intangible. And I, I had to learn that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I had to learn was I wasn't, I have TSS and my body for 64 years has, and that's another part of this article, has been abused. Yeah. And so this is gonna take me a long time. I started in March and my first shred, I lost 10 pounds and eight inches. And that was, a, I had gained that nine pounds. I was 15 pounds away from my goal. I gained the nine pounds. Then I started to shred, lost the 10 pounds, started in March. I pretty much, um, I stick to it most of the time. Like if I overeat, it's overeating something on the shred. I'll eat. You, and, and you know what? That's not such a bad thing, is it? No. no. Like I'll eat more pork rinds or dipped in butter, or I'll eat more, more meat, or I'll eat. And I have to tell you part of the process, Thanksgiving for me this year was I, I posted it. It was one day. It wasn't four days like it had been in the past. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I, in, in one day, I gained two pounds and I started to shred the day after Thanksgiving and I measured myself and I lost over three inches. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, and I, I don't get it. I don't. Now, now, since my initial shred, I, I haven't lost a pound. Yeah. But I have lost 14 inches. Okay. I think and me I think having there's... toxic steel syndrome, I was getting really pissed at myself. <laughs> reading, you know, oh, I lost 70 pounds. I lost, I lost this. I lost that. But like you said, I, I have a lot of damage on the inside going on, but I've lost these inches. And I feel different. And that, that's just so hard to explain. I was getting real frustrated for a while until I started feeling it. How long did it take you to feel what you're talking about? Um, it didn't happen right away. I felt it on and off. I'll tell you, honestly, I felt it during an 11 day shred, but mm -hmm. the minute I got off the shred and if I reintroduce, and I, I would reintroduce healthy, you know, avocado, th things like that. Yeah. But um, as soon as I got off the 11 day, I, I, I felt it. That's exciting. I, 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 I didn't feel like I did when I was shredding. Yeah. So I, I just, I, I'll do like 10 days in between and then I'll do 11 days, but I, I'm not losing a lot of weight. Yeah. I, I have lost the inches. And the other big thing was um, my, my cholesterol. My cholesterol's always been a little bit high, mm -hmm. like, you know, 211, 207, 209. Well, this last time I just got my blood work done and my cholesterol came back, it was 264. I, I almost crapped my pants. I was scared to death to go to the doctor. I'll tell you, I was scared to death. I thought, oh yeah, yeah, he's gonna have a fit. I don't know what it is. Well, when I walked in, um, he said, well, everything looks okay. And I looked at him and I thought, he's looking at someone else's chart. So I didn't say anything. I thought, okay, I'm not gonna say anything because I'll just let him look at someone's chart. I don't care, <laughs> someone else's chart. And then um, he said, your, your total cholesterol is up a little bit. He said, but the rest of your blood work, he said, people would pay to have this blood work. Your HDL, your, your HDL and your LDL ratio, 
is amazing. Yeah. And your ASGVD, it's the the risk of um there was someone else on there, Brad, I think. Brad. It's, Brad C. It's, yeah, it's um it's your your risk score for cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. Well, normal, when I was reading his normal, just so you guys know, is 10 to 15 percent. That that means your your risk is moderate. You hit your moderate risk. Mm -hmm. His was 3.8 or something like that. Mine is 3.1. So how can, I said to my doctor, how can my class, my total cholesterol be 264, yeah. but my, my risk is 3.1. And he said to me, I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. Yeah. My, no, my cholesterol yeah. being 264, I, it just, so I have, me, I, I, you know, I have heard professionals, uh, you know, latest research, say there's there's far better indicators of of uh you know cardiovascular health um you know risk so forth far better indicators than just looking at cholesterol um and as we know you know the latest research in science is saying that you know your body makes cholesterol um food born cholesterol is not actually what makes your cholesterol um elevate in the body and and they're a, a lot of research is starting to state that that is actually born as a result of inflammation um, mm -hmm. from culprit foods. So yeah. fascinating stuff. And, you know, it, I hope everybody that finds interest in that will go research it because there's a lot of new material around this stuff. Yeah. It'll help debunk the whole thing that people, the fears that people have yeah. around meat yeah. and cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask, you know, what I love about you tonight is that. You came on here and you're like, Sean, um, you know, do you want me to share? Because, you know, my story is very unique. Um, I, I just really want to tell you how much I appreciate your vulner vulnerability uh, around the scale and around your result and around how, you know, how you think and how you process and, and what your, your hopes are. It, to me, how many of you are there out there? And, you know, this is what I'm starting to learn is the human experience. The reason people value uh, vulnerability so much is because you're saying things people don't dare to say. Yeah. <laughs> we're, all, we're all experiencing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So yours is the scale, mine is something else, right? Mm -hmm. um, but my God, you're here and you're basically telling people it's not about the weight loss. That's the message that we've been trying to preach. That's the message that Jesse's been trying to preach and Susan and everybody. And you're here, you're showing up and you're basically saying to people, yes, there really is more to this than just what the scale says. So for that, I want to thank you so much. It means a lot. Any, any other um, result around the non the non scale victories. Any anything else you wanted to point out? No, I just um, I I also have learned that it's it's okay to feel uncomfortable. You know, Jesse last week was talking about facing your fears, and um, and and I'm okay with it. I keep telling myself I have just that 15 pounds to lose, but I've had so many other victories. And so I, and, and through this feeling uncomfortable, it, it's okay because, because I feel uncomfortable, I'll continue to listen to my body and learn and, and challenge myself. So I don't get, I don't get in that rut that I was in before. So I feel like when I when I'm not uncomfortable, you you tend to get more into more of a rut. So when you are uncomfortable, you you will challenge yourself to move on. At least I do. That and, that's and, and might I say that there's a difference between comfort, what we perceive as comfort, and perceived comfort. There's a difference between comfort and perceived comfort what we think will bring us comfort it oftentimes it doesn't mm -hmm. 
that's been my experience is that people, they do things that aren't good for them or they know they shouldn't because it's like, that's going to give me comfort. It's mm -hmm. not, it mm -hmm. doesn't. Ultimately, it brings you pain. It's yeah. perceived comfort. You're totally misinterpreted. It's right. like 15, it lasts like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We, we love you. We appreciate you. Please, you've, you've shown up in the group so much. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, yeah. And what an awesome share tonight. Thank you. You're a hero as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I just want to second that. I want to second that. And you know, I got I got Crystal here. You know what I feel like these people need right now? Crystal, you know, like the reels and the TikTok. I know you know this, right? Get yeah. ready, get ready, right? I feel like I got to play this song for these people tonight and you're going to be here and you can help me do this. You're going to know this right away. You're going to know this dance. We're going to do it for these people. And Chris, you the can dance? do this too. Oh, I don't know the dances. <laughs> you, 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 you know what I mean? That song, you, you've seen it like a bazillion times. Like this song right here. You gotta go. Like all these people breaking out, like celebrate that shit. Dance with yourself. Like keep loving yeah. on yourself. Like listen to these things. You just get in there and just get it. When everybody says the scale was bad, when everybody says I couldn't break up with things, when everybody says this, like the hell with what everybody says. This is what I'm hearing from everybody. You're all taking yeah. control of yourself. And that is the most beautiful thing ever. I'm going to remind you again, I know you know this, don't you ever feel sorry about taking care of yourself because you hit the nail on the head right there. If you don't take care of yourself first, how in the world can you, can you accomplish anything else that, that makes you feel amazing, whether that's loving on grandbabies or loving on spouse or loving on friends or, 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 or loving on your kids or being there for them or whatever it is going on in your life. Like, don't ever do that. So thank you for bringing that. And I just second everything that Sean says, like I had to do that dance for you because I'm practicing my reels anyways, because I got to become a real master. Um, so yeah. I wanted to practice that. So thanks for allowing me to, the, the white kid to dance there. Um, uh, you can't do anything, but I, I, can get, I can get that movement down that everybody's doing. And I guess I can become viral that way. I don't know, but you, my friend, are freaking amazing. And I appreciate you showing up. I just need to tell you that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, we got one more. If she's out there, Allie Healan. Are you out there, Allie? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Allie, sorry, you had to wait till the very end. How are you? I'm I'm doing well, thank you. <laughs> it's good to meet you. Where where uh, are you calling from? Um, I'm actually calling from Riverside, uh, in Southern California. Oh, good. Yes. Nice. <laughs> um, and who introduced you to the ER shred? Uh, you know, kind of like Chris. Uh, nobody. Um, I was actually on Isagenix uh, page. And I, I've been doing Isagenix since 2016. And I was reading somebody's post and somebody had commented and they should, and they said, oh, you should try ER Shred. And they had tagged your, your page. And I thought, well, what the hell is that? So I clicked on it <laughs> and that's how I got introduced. And I was like, oh, I gotta be part of this. So <laughs> that's so awesome. I love that. <laughs> You're like, there's a party over here. <laughs> right. I was like, I don't know what ER shred. What is that? So I clicked on it and I'm so grateful that I did. Oh man. Mm. So are we. So are we. What is it you're passionate about? Um, a lot of things. Um, but as of right now, um, I'm trying to get back into interpreting. Uh, I oh. left that. Uh, for a little bit and I'm getting back into it and I love it. That's awesome. Aww. That's really cool. What do you, what do you interpret? Uh, ASL, American Sign Language for the deaf Oh, student. very cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. Okay, so give us the, the rundown. Um, how was life before ER Shred? What, uh, you know, what unfolded? How, how long, by the way, how long ago was it that you first uh, did ER Shred? Uh, well, I probably joined your page probably around March or April, but I actually okay. didn't do my first shred till probably June. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that was my first one. And to answer your question before, uh, life sucked before <laughs> ER Shred, if I'm, if I'm being 
completely honest. Um, I, well, it goes back to when you were talking about your son being bullied. Um, I definitely know. Uh, I was bullied about my red hair all my life and my freckles. And if it wasn't my red hair, it was my weight. So I kind of understand that. Um, but yeah, so what happened was is I had applied for a job in 2018 and I thought it was a great job. Uh, come to find out it was very toxic and very bad. And I was bullied and harassed and, uh, it led to me being ultimately let go of my job uh, because of a particular person that didn't like me and uh, made my life quite hell. And because I was so miserable and bullied so bad, uh, I gained, unfortunately, about 65 pounds within eight months. And, uh, you know, because you can't process emotions, at least for me, it was eating. And so when I was pissed off or upset, or I cry on my way home from work, I'd go and I'd eat like Chick-fil-A or In-N-Out or Chinese food or whatever. And um, so that's where I gained a lot of my weight. And then when I was let go um, in 2019, um, I was in a really bad place, not only physically, uh, but emotionally and mentally. I had completely shut down. I completely just lost myself personally. and. Um, so I went on a, luckily my parents, they love to travel. So I went on a road trip with them and I was able to decompress and I was able to lose about five pounds, um, but it wasn't enough. And um, so I just kind of held on to the weight, unfortunately. And then January of this year, I started Pilates and that really helped a lot, but I didn't see fantastic results until I uh, started doing ER Shred. And that's when all this weight just started to lop off. <laughs> yeah, no, what is that? So that was June, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a Pilates studio. And so um, that's all they do. Uh -huh. And it's fantastic. I love it. If Oh, very cool. And so give it, when you say the weight started to lop off, what does that look like so everyone can, so everyone can understand um, what kind of a result you had? Well, um, as of today, um, I have officially lost 40 pounds. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> <That's> exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so exciting. Yeah. I plan, um, I plan to hit 200 before the end of the year. So oh I'm so, I'm so stoked. I can't even like, I love you guys. I love it. Ear shred. <laughs> We love you yeah. too. Thank you. We love you too. And I love your red hair, by the way. Oh. Seriously, that's Crystal. the first thing I thought of. I'm like, oh, she's so pretty. Crystal <laughs> loves, 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 loves. Crystal crushes on red hair. Yeah, all like, the time. it's pretty to me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm in my car and I, I'm under a street lamp. I don't have my car. I mean, I guess I could turn on my light, I guess, but. <laughs> There we go. Oh, okay, yeah. so we we uh, we got to get even a little deeper. Um, okay. What what's unfolded from that? Like, how are you how are you doing with everything? Like, how's life? How's how's your energy levels? How's your fitness levels? How how's everything? Like, if you could go into all that. I gotta say, man, ER Shred has turned my world upside down in the best way possible. Um. I don't wake up foggy or angry. Um, I don't get out of bed and my feet don't swell and ache. Um, I mean, I'm more attentive and caring to others. My husband, um, I mean, I just, I love it. And because I've lost the weight and I've gained so much energy, um, I've been able to do things that I didn't think I could do in Pilates. Um, because I was so big and I'd be down on myself and I'd be like, oh, I can't do that move or I can't lift, I can't lift my body up that way, yeah. but I can. And I actually broke a record at the studio. I've gone up to a level two in 10 months and, uh, and I did a year of classes in 10 months too. So yeah. it's all, it's all thanks to ER Shred. I mean, I can't, I can't give any other credit, but to you guys. 
Well, credit credit doesn't go to us. I mean, there's we we stand we literally stand on the shoulders of giants, um, and there's a lot of people who have had a lot to do with it. It's yeah. it's a more of a collective. But thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Oh my God, you gave me goosebumps know, all over I my whole it. body. Be this call, Sean. Is Sean. Fantastic, Sean. I gotta raise my oh. hand. I gotta oh. I gotta raise my hand. Oh hi, oh. hi Allison. Hi. <laughs> this is Grayson. He's oh. he's really chair. He's really cheering for you. He's just a little <laughs> sleepy right now. Um, he is adorable. I, I love your photos of him and on, oh, well, on Instagram. He's so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> but I, I have to I have to shift something back to you real quick. Um, I need you to take responsibility for you. Like you are the one who said yes. You are the one who committed. You are the one who made the decisions to follow through. You are the one who stood in the shit when it got hard and understood the bigger picture on the other side. You are the one that did all of that. The credit does not go to ER Shred, although we thank you. You are the magical hero for yourself. I just need you to embrace that and really let that sink in because all we are is the schmucks who messed it up for years and decided to <laughs> share what we learned and then just cheer you on. You're the superhero friend. So please don't ever give that away. Okay. Mm -hmm. respect. Absolutely. Okay. Respect. Yeah. Mad respect for you. Um, you came alive. At what point did you notice that, that, oh my God, this is different. This is different than anything else I've tried. This is working. <laughs> Um, you know, I got to say probably by like day nine of my first ER shred, um, cause I went through a really, really bad detox. Yeah. Um, I didn't know how addicted and, uh, to sugar I was mm -hmm. until I cut that crap out. And then I was like, oh my God, it, it's real. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and I was talking to a friend who was addicted to drugs and, you know, she's been, you know, rehabilitated and uh, she told me and I was telling her about my symptoms and she's like, oh yeah, she's like, I went through that. She's all, yeah, that's exactly how I felt when I went through rehab. She's all, you had night sweats, headache, you know, you can't think straight, you know, um, jittery. And I was like, oh my God, like that's how bad sugar is for our body. And then when you try to cut you know, it out, you know, your body doesn't want to let go of it. So yeah. once I got over that initial, like, ugh, you know, um, detox by day nine, I was running like all over the house. I was cleaning this and doing that and blah, blah, blah. And, and I noticed that my shirts started to feel better. Like they weren't as tight and my pants, um, I feel really good to wear jeans now you know where before I was like oh god I don't want to put those on but uh I'd say by day nine I was like oh this cool. shit's legitimate and yeah. I'm not ever gonna change like it's too good yeah it's too good to go back yeah. I know that I know that feeling Crystal do you Jesse if it's okay I, I I want Crystal to just share what's on her heart I know it's it's late it's 7 15 we're gonna end this um but because Crystal is here how does it make okay. you feel? Um, this is like all so exciting. Every time we do these calls and I, I was listening to, I've been listening, catching up with the, all of the episodes on the ER Shred podcast. And it just really does get touch me in such a way where I just get excited for all the people whose lives are being changed. And to be a part of this community has been amazing. And I'm just gaining so much from all of you being able to listen to these podcasts and, um, you know, catch up with all of you who have been sharing. I'm just like, I'm feeling more connected to you guys. So I just, again, want to thank you guys for being willing to do this because I feel like this is a way where we can all get to know each other on more, more of a personal level and continue growing the connection that we have within this community. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello. Thank you. All right. Well, your smile says it all. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, Thank you. It's 715. I think we better close it out. Jesse, anything you want to say in closing, brother? I love you. Yep. I, I don't have any more words to say, honestly. Just just yeah. up, like I get it.
It, 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 was, it was some kind of a call. I'm just telling you right now, guys, we're going to blow up. Jesse, what's going to happen in 2022? What's going to happen to ER Shred? What's, what's, what's coming down, buddy? Uh, what's not coming down? What's not <laughs> coming down? More people coming alive, more people getting recharged, more people realizing that they were never broken in the first place, more people, you know, just becoming better humans, which in turn impacts other humans, which in turn, I talked about it last night, is now impacting the next generation. What's going to happen with the ER shred is it's going to become a household name. What's going to happen with it is people are going to wake the up. up and yeah. they're going to start to realize that we've had the wool pulling over our, our eyes for so long. And the most beautiful thing in the world is getting back to our primal ancestral ways, tapping into the resources that we have today, keeping it simple, not overcomplicating life, not wasting time and precious energy on useless nonsense. I mean, Sean, people are going to build their foundation and from there it's going to explode. I mean, I see the ER shred, like I said last night, literally going worldwide. We're already there, but I mean like really going worldwide i see it literally in the next year more than doubling in size literally doubling in size because that fire those logs you know that we've that everybody has thrown on the bonfire now it's so it's so bright it's so hot that literally like if you freaking went to space you could see that shit from space like that's how <laughs> hot it's burning right now i mean just the stories of people just lighting up you know what yeah. I mean? Like, so, so people aren't going to be able to ignore the raw results. You can't yeah. ignore the raw results. We're not, we're not posting some whack-ass magazine commercial. We're not, you know, hiring this and hiring that. Like you can't make these stories up. You can't no. do that. And you can't deny those results. And I just hope that the infectious attitude uh, and and just vibrational flow and energy of these people, of these heroes, yeah. just just tapers off into so many others. Because I, I'm still going to maintain that I believe that everybody deserves to feel as euphoric as we feel every day. And that doesn't yeah. mean that life is just a cakewalk, but it's just like you got the power to step into it every day and just own you. And that's such a beautiful thing. It's just, it's so... It, I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, yeah. These are all heroes, and anybody can be a superhero in this context. How? It's that simple. You know, Thor has his hammer, right? Batman has his gizmos. Like every every superhero has their their thing, right? They're armed. They have a, they have, they have their arsenal. Uh, we're armed too. We're armed. And when we go out and we meet people, man, like you can help people and. That that is a good feeling. I'm telling you right now, that's a good feeling. Hell yeah. We're armed in that way. And I watched your tricep extension video. We're also backed by guns in that way as well. So we're covered <laughs> on every angle. So I think we're all pretty safe. We're all pretty safe. <laughs> you always you you always get me. You always I find a way you, to get I me. Love you. I love, really you. Good I love you too, brother. Really all right, good. everybody, can you unmute? We're going to say good night. We love you all. It was good to hear everybody say good night. 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 Everyone. Tomorrow night. Good night, everyone. Call good night. Thursday night. Thanks Tomorrow for night joining us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Good night. And thank you for my one year anniversary. Love I appreciate you, you all. Sweet, yeah, sweet. Bonnie. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Bonnie. Thank Happy you. anniversary, Love Bonnie. You guys. Love you guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You just don't mean don't know how much I, I've I've been like so grateful for this community. Thank you so much. We're gonna have so Bonnie, would, we're gonna, Bonnie, we're gonna have you back on soon to give an update. So I'll be in touch. Awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> thank you. All right, you guys. I gotta go be with the kiddos. Love you all. All right. See you all next Bye. Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>